please watch this, to the very end, yes I said 20,000 to 50,000 peso, the people that watch this to the end, will make the 50,000 peso. I am going to teach you, how to make 4 different flavors of spam, I will show you, different tools you can use, and save money. I am going to show you, how and where to sell your spam, and for everyone that likes, subscribes, and comments, I have a special bonus for you. I am going to give you, the same templates, and banners I use to make 50,000 a month, all you need to do is, add your cell number to them. I will also cover issues, that I had, so you don't make the same, costly mistakes I did, this will make sure, you make money, from day one. Let's have a quick look, at everything you will need, to make your 50,000 paso business run. Yes, hello, this is William and Grace, and um, these are all the tools, or um, all the ingredients you are going to need for a 50,000 peso business. I'm going to start from over here. I use this as a dry rack. We're going to need some breadcrumbs some garlic and onion powder um, a couple of ideas for a sealer we have sugar you have your stickers um, of course your gloves for your hands a couple of uh, types or options that we'll go through in a minute or bags or that that you can use um, I've covered that, you've got your salt or a sin, um, you've got your rock type at the back, um, we have prop powder or what it's called curing salt, um, now you can get away, you can use either corn flour or you can use cornstarch, this is uh, chili, um, as a matter of fact it's one of the most hottest chilies you can get in the world. Um, that I like to use. I also like to put a cube in when I'm mixing my meat because it just gives it that extra flavor that everyone likes. You're going to need a mixing bowl. The problem is with a mixing bowl, um, if you haven't got one, then you can always use your steamer to do the same job. You are going to need some patis or fish um, sauce, some too big, you're going to need um, a set of scales. Now I've got some links on the video um, where you can actually purchase this. Um, I'm not affiliated with them so I've just searched around to try and get you the cheapest best prices that you can get. You're going to need a mixer. Um, you don't have to have it right away, but you are going to need it. You're going to need tin foil. You're going to need bags to put, um, to package your product. I ended up with this one because I think it's just so much better and superior to everything else. You're originally going to start out with this. This is the cheapest option you can get. You can buy this at the market and you can pay between 10 and 15 pesos I got these ones for 11 pesos and I bought 10 pieces you will need to upgrade to 20 um, down the track as your business grows and expands uh, a really good option to save on foil is to get one of these these are of course more expensive but they're a lot more durable and they have a really good lip so you're not using as much foil when covering them another great alternative is to use this now this is uh, microwave safe it's boil safe I've made uh, um, dogo dogo or dogo an in them um, it's really good because um, as it gets hot um, the pressure it just pops the lid you don't lose anything you're not buying tin foil all the time so it's more expensive but 
to start out but what will happen is it will be so much more cheaper than buying foil all the time now I reuse my foil so I wash it if you can get the thick foil that's really good if you can't um, what I do is I wash it turn it over use it again on the other side um, as you can see I folded it over twice just so as it's it'll continue doing its job for one more cook you're also going to need some delivery bags and so on now these templates that are down here I will give you these I will also give you um, the banners which are for the shop um, I also have a banner outside the front of my house which I will go there in a moment and And get for you um, what else are you going to need of course you're going to need your pork and you're going to need your uh, chicken because we're going to make four types all right I'll be back in a minute base ingredients for all spams one kilo pork or chicken two one chicken or pork cube optional three one tablespoon fish saws four 1 tablespoon salt 5 2 tablespoons cornstarch 6 2 tablespoons sugar 7 1 teaspoon pepper 8 1 teaspoon curing salt 9 1 fourth cup breadcrumbs optional 10 a half cup of cold water just use the base recipe just use the base recipe and add chili powder i use ghost chili powder just use the base recipe just use the base recipe and add onion and garlic powder. Now it's recording. So, that's the dry ingredients. So this is your base before we add anything else. That's why I'm doing two kilos. And then we'll separate it. I want to make sure everything is coated. Now, I've washed my hands. Just in case anyone asks, I want to make a comment on it. Now all I want to do is knead this in, so I want to make sure all the spice gets into this meat. I've come across something like this, which is really fatty and that. I don't want it in my spam. Add it comes small amount of fat I don't mind but something like that I don't want my customers chewing down on something like that so I'll just quickly remove it okay so now I've got the wet ingredients and that is the fish sauce or pakis one cube and of course the cold water soak the cube in there because it's going to make it easier to mix in as we go mixer a nut or a mincer you can go and hand pick your meat that you want to use and uh, then you won't have this issue so what I want to do now is if you pause that for a second because I need to wash and dry my hands 
Okay. Okay. What I've got here is half a cup of breadcrumbs just to help as a binding agent to go in there and I'm just adding in a quarter of that extra water just help keeps your meat and everything else nice and moist when you're cooking it. So, once this is fully mixed in, which is pretty much there, what we want to do now is <coughs> basically separate this into one kilo, one kilo and that's actually very close so this I'm going to put in a plastic bag and I'm going to let it um, a plastic bag or a container depending whatever you've got and I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to let it marinate for a minimum of 12 hours to 24 hours this one, I am going to add uh, the chili in that to this because um, we're making two types um, from the one just to make things easier for people. Okay. Okay. What I've got here done is I've taken out um, a kilo of the pork and I'm going to tie that off and put it in the fridge and marinate it overnight and this one what we are going to do with this is we're going to add in some ghost pepper so let me go and grab that now, this is the ghost pepper I like to put in around um, half a teaspoon um, or about half a cap um, it's very strong that's why I use the ghost pepper and um, then all I'm going to do is just mix this right through again and then do the same thing as I've just done with that and then put this and name in the fridge so now I have regular pork spam um, once we do the next step and we've got our chili and a lot of people like the chili because of uh, they like to drink with their barcadas and things like that and this makes a very nice um, um, vine okay all right so what I've done is I put one kilo there and in this one I put the hot chili in it or the ghost pepper as it's called and I've marked it with the letter H so we know that this is the regular and this one is the um, chili alright I'll go and pop this in the fridge and then we'll get started on the, chi uh, the chicken okay so in here I've got the two kilos of chicken and what I'm gonna do is do the base the same as I did with the pork I'm going to just mix in the basic ingredients which is going to be two tablespoons of fish sauce uh, two tablespoons of rock salt I'm going to do um, two tablespoons of uh, sorry two teaspoons of pink salt a quarter of corn starch and four tablespoons of white sugar uh, you can use brown if you like one um, teaspoon um, of pepper I like pepper so I usually add just a touch more then one cup of cold water is your base plus um, one fourth a cup of breadcrumbs and a chicken cube is my base recipe okay okay 
So what I've done is I have done the chicken. I've mixed in everything there. Um, even this, the cube is starting to dissolve. That's all right, because we're going to mix this again a couple of more times. All I want it to do is absorb the flavor of the salt and the other ingredients into it. So right now, I'm going to put this in the fridge and then I'm going to show you guys the um, next step with this one. All right, we're back again, and all I've done is I have taken out that uh, other bag, and that's ready to go. And then here I have added a one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic, and I have also added two uh, more tablespoons of uh, too big or water um, just to help with the powder distribution uh, we don't want it to dry up okay that's it I'll get back to it okay so I finished that one off I even grabbed my cup of coffee um, I just wanted to say for, for people who want to clean up after themselves what I did was I took um, uh, just a empty bottle and um, what I do is I, I mix uh, vinegar 60% of it uh, vinegar so to about here uh, vinegar and the rest is too big um, and I mix them together and that will kill 98% of all bacteria um, actually 99 or whatever it is a lot of butchers in Australia do this mixture and spray it on their utensils and I, I spray it on my hands uh, before I touch food or anything else because I, I don't want any contamination to, to go anywhere. Alright, I just wanted to give you a quick tip. Oh, another good thing this is used for, if you've got lots of ants, um, just spray them with that, that kills them. It, it's really good and they don't like the smell and they will go away. All right, guys, I gotta get this stuff into the fridge. Chat soon. Okay, we have prepared our mixture and now need to cook it. The spam mixture has been marinating now for 24 hours. Good morning, everyone. All right, we're got, today we're gonna actually cook our uh, spam. So what we're gonna need for the next phase is a, a small jar with some uh, a spoon and water. Uh, a set of scales, you don't really need scales, okay, I'll show you where getting around where you don't have to use them in the beginning, you're going to need to get a blender, um, if you haven't got a blender that's fine, you can get away with using a bowl, but you are going to be working it, just like I did when I first started, look, okay, um, next thing you're going to need is, of course, these. Now, I showed you different types. I'm going to use these because most people are going to start with these and I'd rather you learn with the, the ones that are there. And, of course, you're going to need your steamer. That's it. That's all we're going to need for today. I'm sorry. There is one other thing we are going to need today while we cook. And that is the foil to wrap here. I'm used to using the plastics and things now, so, but anyway, let's go back to this and get it going. Bye. If you really want to make 50,000 peso or more, you need to be active. If you make spam and let the people around you know, then you sit at home waiting. You will not make 50,000. This is how I do it. I have resellers like shops and butchers. It's easy to do. Here are some examples and testimonials. Just let people see that they can do a business. Like that. Oh, someone's got a flat tire. Anyway, so you tried the spam, yeah? And what is it like? Hello. Say hello. Hello. So you like the spam? 
Yep. And you would like to order for Christmas. You want a chicken and a ham. Is that right? Okay. So, you see my buddy? I'll make your order happen for you, okay? I'm making a YouTube video and letting people know about the spam business mm. that we're doing. Now, you've got and bought spam from me. What do you think of it? What do you think of the spam? Good. Delicious. Yeah. Do you, which flavor do you like? I like uh, uh, spicy. The, you like the chili one? Yeah. 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 I think your husband liked the, spi the yeah, spicy I one the best. Son. Yeah. Okay. Now your son took uh, some of the spam to school or did yeah. you eat it? He did. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. All right. No worries. I'll leave you be. <laughs> hey, you're online. <laughs> so do you like the spam? All right. Okay. This is another one of my resellers, but they have already gone home. I was hoping to get uh, an interview with them. I'll try and do that later. Um, yeah, that's it. So, to make your business work, you've got to be active. The chicken um, carcass, I make a broth. Or a chicken soup absolutely musser up so you're not wasting anything all right we've got the steamer ready to go right. I'm gonna start with the chicken um, quite simply it's been marinating for 24 hours so it's actually really good and mixed in no, I don't like this. I really don't like these. And I'm going to fix them. Now, if you haven't got a blender or a mixer, you're going to have to mix and mix and mix and mix for to make it so it sticks together. Um, you don't have a choice. That's how you have to start. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use a blender because it's quicker and easier. Um, so let me grab that and get it set up. So this is just going to help. You don't want to overload this unit. It's only a small blender and it will See how that, that is sticking, as in it's sticking together, and it, you can tell the colour is different because it's mixed through better. This is the consistency we're looking for, but when we put inside um, our thing. So, a bit more. I'll only do a little bit more and then I'll show you guys how to fix up the other part. Okay. 
this is the consistency we're looking for. Nice, smooth, ready to go. All right, let me get this off and on to the next part. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you with the scales and I'm going to show you without the scales how you can do better. So the first thing I want to do is pair wet. I want to make sure that it's set to zero. Okay? So now we know what the wet. The next thing I want to do is I want to take a little bit of water. So there's some water on my spoon. It just makes things slide off so much easier. Okay? A little bit of water off, a couple of drops, just like that. And then what I can do is I can push that into wherever it is that I want it to go to. That way, I don't have any problems with big holes or anything like that on the bottom of your span it's all nice and flat and uh, yeah it's real easy so see how good I am eh? that and there about 270 roughly. Wow, 264.8, 265. Not bad. Good guess. Yeah. So you just gotta work it in so it goes into your mold. It's not that hard. It's in the air pockets, take them out. So, we know I need to add 265, that is going to be 300. So, a little bit of water, just to make it nice and smooth. What do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? I reckon we're close to 300. It's 29. 294. Almost 300. Just a bit more. See? But what I want people to try and get an idea of, if you have a look at the level of the tin, you're almost full right up. But just a little fraction of it is below that. You know you've got 300 grams. This is going to take us over. It's going to take us to about 314, 315, 310. She's on getting pretty good at this. 315. Now I like 315. Other people do 300. I don't. I want to make sure that when I give them my finished product, it, it weighs over 300 because you lose some of it while you're cooking yeah and we don't want that so this is probably the most time consuming simple? No. I'm recycling. I wash my tin foil and because I folded it in half I can reuse it. I can get another one out of it. So I just need to over the top like this, squeeze it in and up underneath. Thing. 
pulled up underneath. That's one, and that's it. Now I'm not gonna sit here and do all of these for you um, and make you watch me do it. I am going to go and prepare the rest of the mixtures and put them in the steamer, and then I'll be back to show you the next part of the process. Morning everyone. Um, today we're gonna pack all the spam that we have currently made and what we're going to need is this will all be this will all become clear shortly um, i've got a couple of little bits of um, uh, divider plastic divider um, i'll show you what that's for shortly you're going to need a pair of scissors um, of course you're going to need your labels or stickers and what i found works really well is the ice candy wrapper I can cut that in half, seal one end, and I get two um, labels that can go inside the package of my spam. Um, that way there's no contamination and it, it works really well. Now the options you have is, for doing this really is you can go with uh, uh, a sandwich bag that seals and I'll show you how we're going to use that you can also get um, a, it's a thicker plastic than regular plastic um, which is really good for um, your sealer you can also go the next step and actually purchase this type um, or you can go with the um, this type um, sealable vacuum bags I like these so that this is what I've upgraded to now for those people who don't have a vacuum seal um, you're going to need a straw okay and we want a pen to mark the date that we actually made the spam okay so I have two options for you over here um, we have the standard vacuum sealer you basically place it inside and it'll suck out all the, the moisture as you can see I've already started using it this morning um, but that's fine I'll wash it once I finish at the end of the day um, and here um, this is another great little idea it, it's a sealer and you just hold it down for um, about six seconds and then you can just seal your bag like so okay I'm gonna have to pass this over to someone else because I can't do both so I'm gonna start off with people who don't have the equipment to seal everything I'm gonna show you an alternative way to do it and this will just get you started pretend this is your spam you just pop our spam inside and of course we'll take our label depending on what it is this will be sealed as well but uh, that will go inside with your your thing preferably get one without the name I didn't have any and all we're going to do is seal it most of the way up and then I'm going to take a straw and push it over to the far side so this is sealed now what I'm going to do is exhale or inhale yeah and that's how you can suck the air out and seal it well, all we're going to do is I'm going to suck the air out of there and then I just seal it now that we've got that's the cheapest and easiest way to get you started that will keep it vacuum sealed
and that's the simplest way um, of doing it now doing it over here for example if you're just using one of these you can't afford to get one of the proper vacuum sealers and you want to get one of these now these are really good all you have to they're 25 peso um, it takes two little batteries all you do is hold it down and you hold it down for about six seconds and of course this is not going to work anyway because I dropped it just before the video shoot and um, so I have to buy a new one and we're going to do the same thing as we did here except all we're going to do is we're just going to run this along here like so and what it actually does is it seals the bag as you can see and um, it's not working all right so let's pretend I have just sealed this part of the bag same thing in goes your straw you suck the air out so now we have no air in it and you grab the end fold it over and then bring your sealer back and seal it off that's your alternative with that with these same thing you're going to cut your pack insert your spam put your label in and then you're going to use the sealer or you can use this to seal it this way use your straw and so on and either way it'll work these are really really good because they've got tear off and that it's black and that which basically means whatever you've got in there stands out it's really nice for presentation now why have I got these it's very simple what we use these for is we insert them into um, why does it never want to work when I want to work okay so what I do is we insert them into here we then pop it so now what happens is when I put my spam inside which has got moisture on it I don't get any moisture where I'm going to seal it if this gets wet it can take two or three attempts to actually seal your product okay so that's why these are really really handy all right that's it I'm going to start and package up the spam and I'll show you using our little baby all right okay so what we've done is we have our package our spam we made a chicken and garlic and all you got to do is place it inside halfway in between now with a little bit of luck it's going to do it for me today and it's going to work first time every time and everybody is going to be happy that in the freezer ah, just for me to know we made this on the 30th
it's done, ready, and I can put that away. Ready to go out for sale. Extra bonus for all that made it this far. This new label is for marketing your product. So as you can see, this is the pack that we put together. So you've got the two different types of chicken and you've got the two types of pork. Um, fantastic for your resellers, for sampling, for the butcher. Um, and one of my favorites is the school teachers. Um, go to a school and they get in a sample pack and we get regular orders from the school across the road um, for their lunch and their kids lunch and, and so on. There's another idea of where you can sell your product. Another good place where you can go is to the actual um, local market, you know like the fish market, meat market, um, because no one's doing it. And you can talk to people that sell fish or meat um, and the same thing and they will happily um, accept the sample from you and um, I'm sure they'll become a, a really good uh, reseller or customer. Bye. This is just for examples only, I'm not affiliated with these items, I just looked around for you and I am trying to help you. Also special thanks to the YouTube video that got me started in this. Just to do it is basically just do half, half with this. Oops, baby. This one is the chicken and onion and garlic. Please go over there. Thank you. This one is the hot and spicy. This one's your regular. Your regular. Now, you can put a pack together like this and do the exact same thing. Now you're giving them your four products. I hope you got a lot out of this video. When you subscribe and comment, I will answer you back with a link to get your stickers or labels and home and business banners and best wishes with your new business. Please share this with people that would love to make an extra 50000 a month. Okay, costing. Um, to make one ham or spam, um, it costs me 90 pesos complete. Now, the meat for the pork for one kilo of pork is 280 pesos. The cost of um, a kilo of chicken works out to be the same because you have bone in the chicken. So it cost me 185 peso for the um, kilo of chicken and I have to get um, like one and a half kilos uh, of chicken to make up just one kilo of um, chicken. Now the difference is you can go straight to the supermarket and buy breast. It's got no bone, no skin, nothing, but it's like 300 pesos, which would mean the cost for the spam finished product would be um, five peso more because you get four spams per kilo. By the time you add your cornstarch, your peppers, uh, spices, salts, um, things like that, and your water, the weight increases from one kilo to around um, 1.2 to 1.3. And um, once you divide that in, that's the cost. I'm not going to go in, it's going to cost you one peso for a sticker and uh, a piece of cellar tape and all that crap. The reality is, if your meat for your pork costs you um, 280 pesos, then this is going to cost you 90. You're going to sell it 
to your resellers up to you but I sell it 130 so I make 40 pesos per one if I sell it to an individual like I'm out um, selling the stuff just to individual people I charge 150 so I make 60 pesos um, if people come to my house I sell it for 140 so it depends on you and the individuals okay that's it in a nutshell to make 50,000 profit a month you need resellers like butchers shops schools etc you need to sell around 40 a day resellers can do 10 each a day on average cook time total for 40 is one hour preparation two hours packing 1.5 hours